Hello and welcome to Caramel and Coconut Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Gemini, Gemini Suns, um, for the time period June 19th all the way through to July 31st, 2023. Now yes, it's quite a long <laughs> time period, simply because, in comparison to what I was doing before, which was fortnightly readings, and that's simply because I'm trying to restructure my time somewhat so that I can get other projects kind of um, into expression, okay? And so, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into your reading. Um, I've got a five card spread. I'll just call out the cards on the screen as you can see them. Um, the labels of the cards are in the description if you'd like to go, if you can't remember them and you'd like to actually know what they are. <laughs> All right, but for now I've just put the images up because um, that's how I wanted to present the reading. All right, so I'm going to tune in with Spirit. Um, actually, let me just, sorry, like I said, I call out the cards first and I'll just tune in with Spirit. Well, they're always, I'm always tuned in actually <laughs> with Spirit and that's just something I say so you feel a bit more part of the process, <laughs> you know, but we're always... I'm very much, my guides don't, they don't shut up. No, they're just teasing me. Um, well, I'm teasing them actually on some level. Not at their expense, no, because that wouldn't be loving. Just, you know, we're in harmony. It's all good. We understand each other. And we're all one in our hearts. You know, we're all interconnected anyway. We're energetically mirrors of each other. So, yeah, to some degree, of course. Not, they don't have shadow like I do. You know, we all have the imperfections of being in physical manifestation, but they don't. But anyway... So yeah, let me just call out the cards. In the middle, you've got the Justice card. In at the top, we've got the Seven of Swords. On the left-hand side, we've got the Five of Swords. On the bottom, we've got the Tower. And on the right-hand side, we've got the Chariot card, okay? So I'll jump straight into the reading. Spirit, what do we have as a general reading for the um, Sun... Oh yes, sorry, quick reminder, this is a general reading, not a private reading. So yeah, I was... Just, you know, dis use your discernment as to whether this reading resonates with you or not. So, and it's for G Gemini sun signs, okay? I'm not focusing on moon, I'm not fo focusing on rising signs or Venus signs or anything like that. Just your Gemini uh, sun, just the sun sign, all right? So, let's tune in. All right, I'm just seeing balance. Like the central card um, indicates, the justice card, it's very much a card of Libra, but what I'm picking up, I've just been shown an image of, you know, a bigger seesaw, if you like, you know, like a weighing scale, but a seesaw. And it feels like many of you at this time, Gemini sun signs, are you're trying to find your balance is what I'm picking up. It's not that you're, you're in complete harmony right now. Well, not, well, who's in complete harmony, right? <laughs> Let's omit the word complete. <laughs> Let's just say harmony for now. Otherwise we'll, we'll have entered some kind of utopia that, you know, nobody knows about. But anyway, um, let's just say, yeah, harmony. I'm not actually picking up that. I'm, I'm picking up, and this is not to scare you, I'm picking up this kind of yearning, longing to get into more of a balanced state. And that really draws my energy into the tower card. It kind of um, fits perfectly in that regard. So, you know, the cards are basically speaking to me in that way, and that maybe many of you are, not all of you, but many of you are, going through many kind of somewhat tower moments, which basically means the tower card is this kind of a symbolism of, you know, letting go of old structures or old patterns, behaviors, habits within yourself, um, or ideas, belief systems, you know? Um, yeah. And it's just, just old structures in general, you know, that could, there's a broad spectrum that we could go with that. There's a huge, um, scope, you know, that you could, um, look at in regards to what could be taken down in order to be rebuilt because that's what's happening things are being taken down and i feel it's very much drawn to um, your belief systems yeah i'm really picking up i'm really picking that up for some of you gemini sun signs your belief systems are kind of being recalibrated re-looked at um, in order to find more balance and hence the tower card is also really drawing me to the left hand side of the screen which is the five of swords you know there's a battle there's a battle ensuing, okay, and it's, it can be, I'm seeing tears, I'm seeing people crying, emotion, I'm seeing people get very emotional at this time, um, so yeah, you know, I, I, it's because you're cutting ties, it's funny, my eyes are being drawn to the scissor tool, because I'm using a, you know, I'm using some software, some audio software, and there's a, 
there's a little icon of scissors um, for cutting and splicing some of my audio and my, I'm suddenly got drawn to the um, scissor tool um, which is also tied into the five of swords on the left hand side about this battle ensuing it's like an internal battle but the scissors are kind of symbolic of you cutting away ties is what i feel which is why it's also partly getting a bit emotional it's not exactly because of that it's actually what spirit is saying to me it's because as i said that my whole body kind of winced it kind of like my my chest concaved and it was almost like mm, it's not completely tied to people there's emotions being purged out of you um because there are certain things maybe that you have had to let go of, like old patterning, yeah, old belief systems that you once thought were true for you. And then you realize, actually, I don't believe that anymore. It's not really working for me. And then you kind of feel like you're at a, you've gone back to square one. So you feel like you're at a bit of a loss, but you're not. You really are not Gemini's, okay? In truth, when you start to let things go, you're just creating more space. Yeah, it's no different to tidying your room or cleaning, doing a deep clean, let's say, of your room. When you start to throw out all the stuff that you don't need. Um, yeah, so that's basically what's going on. You're creating space. So I know it may sound like a negative, but it's really not. Because you are the chariot. And the chariot is the card on the right-hand side. Uh, or you are the person in the chariot, let's say. You are very much sitting there, you know, on your journey. Because this is kind of a, a card for me at this moment. It's resonating as you're on a sojourn, you're on a journey. And you are getting very deep at this moment in time. When I say deep, I guess you could use the word... Nope, spirit saying don't use that word. <laughs> it's not a bad word. It's just, you know, it's just it's not a, when I say bad, it's not a curse word or anything like that. But it's they're saying no, that's not the word. We don't want to limit it like that. It's you're on you're on a bit of a quest for information about how to make a new is what spirit is saying. Yeah, and that was related to you, how to make yourself new to some degree. Okay, um, yeah. Because we're always kind of reinventing, you know, that's part of the journey of life in physical manifestation, reinvention, 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 through releasing aspects of our shadow selves, which is like the self that isn't the loving conscious self, yeah? Some people call it ego, but I just, I kind of embody a whole load of, um, or sorry, I use the shadow to umbrella, you know, many aspects of, let's call it, what isn't of consciousness, which includes, yeah, the ego and the you know pain guilt all of that stuff physical pain emotional pain all sorts of stuff okay all sorts of those energies so yeah um you are the chariot very much so and you're journeying through this process with support because these two sphinx in the card at the front the black and white sphinx they're your spirit guides they're really helping you it doesn't mean you've only got two spirit guides by the way some of you have many 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 guides it depends on how many you've kind of somewhat agreed to work with okay you've you have a contract with your guides you know <laughs> um, and they change sometimes sometimes we change we you know guides we go through different guides um, but that's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. It's not a better or worse situation. It just is what it is. Okay, I'm just painting you a picture of how the spirit world works um, in short in, regard, in relation to guides. But yeah, so you are very much are releasing. You know, you're, you're, you're stable. Your spirit guides are supporting you on this journey. Okay, as the chariot or sitting in your chariot. So you're safe. And if you notice in the card, you've got, you know, just above the chariot's head, you've got a star. Okay, and that's actually reflecting the star card for me, which is, um, it has somewhat of a um, purification energy in the tarot. So I haven't got the star card here in, in your spread, but it's coming through via this card in my mind's eye. All right, so there's a purification going on, a purification process. Um, yeah, and what they're saying is to look forward. And what I mean by that is I'm actually now being drawn to the Seven of Swords at the top of the, the reed, the top of the spread, the Seven Swords. And if you can, if you can um, see this being, they're kind of looking back, but they're asking you to look forward. Stop looking back. Okay, now it's time to start looking forward. Okay, allow the tears to flow, to release, because that's what you're doing when you're crying and you're releasing those, you know, pent up emotions. You're releasing, yeah? So stop looking back. You know, that's not the traditional read of this card, but this, that's what that's the energy I'm picking up. That's the message I'm picking up from this card, okay? Because I dance between some traditional tarot, but I just trust my intuition to bring through, you know, the messages of, of, of spirit. And I just use the cards as a kind of somewhat 
tool, a framework, if you like, to just present you with an image, that's all. Yeah, I'm not sitting here trying to tie myself to traditional tarot because for me it's too limiting for how I express and how I read cards and how I work with my, um, let's call them abilities, okay? So, yeah. Um, but they're saying look forward, otherwise you're going to trip up. <laughs> All right. You don't need to keep looking back to your past, okay? I'm hearing that a song by Lamar. Um, oh no, it's a, it's not a song by Lamar, it's just some lyrics and it's, I can't remember what the song's called, but it's something like, I'm going to paraphrase, you know, can't, uh, can't move forward if your heart's still where you're coming from. That's it, something like that. Can't go forward or can't move forward, can't move forward if your heart's still where you're coming from. Something like that, okay? <laughs> if that makes sense. So it's just saying let go of the past, basically, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a Lamar song. It wasn't 50-50, it was another song. What song was it? Um, oh, it will come to me if it's meant to, but it was a really nice song. <laughs> it was a dope song. He did some really nice songs. That dude, Lamar. Yeah, check him out. I mean, it was an old song, quite an old song. Not that old, but I mean, you know, maybe 20 years ago or so. So yeah, but dope, really nice song. Check it out. <laughs> All right. And 50-50 is pretty cool too, that song. The song 50-50 by Lamar. Okay. Yeah, so... I don't know what he's up to now these days, but I haven't I haven't really stayed in tune with his musical journey. But yeah, so um, speaking of music, ah, there we go, beautiful segue. Speaking of music, Gemini Sons, they're telling you uh, whose read did they say to listen to some music? Uh, was it Libra? It could have been Libra. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They're telling you music could really help you right now. Yeah, I think music generally, and for a lot of um, of the zodiac signs. It, music is really going to um, behoove a lot of you, yeah? a lot of us, actually. I mean, I find myself re-engaging with a lot of music in more kind of creating music at this moment in time as opposed to just listening to it. But um, yeah, so yeah, and, and some of you, yep, that, that's exactly why I'm saying it, create music. Why don't you, some of you, if you're, you know, musically drawn um, in a creative sense, create, start creating some music and don't, don't, you know, sit there judging your creations, just express, see what comes. Okay. I'm not saying start to write masterpieces. As long as it's in love, it is a masterpiece in my personal, you know, knowing of, of this universe. That's how, what, and I say knowing intentionally, you know, that's what I know to be true. Love is perfection. Love is, is the masterpiece. Okay. So don't try and, you know, maybe, I mean, you can if you want, but, you know, trying to aspire to some kind of conventional sense of success and masterpiece and a, ma sorry, and a masterpiece or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying express yourself musically, you know, and that could be playing the triangle. Yeah. Or the tambourine, just like, or drumming on the table. Just express yourself musically is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing keys. I'm actually seeing keyboards. You know, pianos, keys. I'm seeing keys of, of that nature. So yeah, if you play, if you if you feel to play it, and when I say if you play, I mean if you feel to play a piano or something like that, even if you've never played before, get on a piano. Go and find one, you know. Even if you have to hire out a small little church hall studio for like six pounds an hour or six dollars, you know, twelve dollars an hour, whatever it is, just for an hour to, to tinkle on their, you know, the church hall piano like I've done in the past, then do that. Yeah, if you haven't got one um, that you can't, if you can't access one at home or anything like that, then yeah, just, you know, I'm sure somewhere in your community, well, not I'm sure, but there possibly is <laughs> some a piano hanging about somewhere in your community that you don't even think about. Like I just said, the church hall, <laughs> All right, <laughs> or the hall that's attached to the church. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave that for you to kind of look into, but they're saying express yourself musically, and even on your phone, you can download little apps, Spirit are showing me little apps, you know, little piano apps, just have a little tinkle on those little apps that maybe you've never thought about downloading because you think they're a bit naff, but actually you can express yourself momentarily, and you can even record on some of them, record your work, you know, just for a bit of fun, make a little, make a little track, lay down some beats, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for some of you Gemini sons. I feel there's a lot of creative expression coming through at this moment in time as a process of, like a cathartic process for healing because we're in a very funny energy at this moment in time. In, um, I mean, this reading is kind of focused for the time period I, I announced at the beginning, which is June 19th all the way through to July 31st. So I am really trying to hone in on this time period. However, generally speaking, 
there's a lot of need for creative expression at this time because it is like a catharsis, a healing, a release, okay, and a way of reconnecting with spirit, with your soul, and somewhat grounding yourselves because, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, there is a lot of uncertainty, you know, at this time in, and it's a lot. There's a lot of reflections of that in in, ast in what's happening astrologically. But I'm not going to talk too much about astrology right now because. I just don't feel drawn to do that. I have done in some of the other reads because I often tap into some of the astrology. Um, but I'm not going to do it too much other than, yes, we are pretty much in your season. I just realized. <laughs> Gemini season, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're in your season. Uh, obviously, depending when you're listening to this. But, I mean, for the time period that this is, um, this reading is for its pretty much we're in Gemini and Cancer season, so yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess that's also part of the reflection. It's almost like a solar return energy coming through for you in order to find some balance, you know, around your birthday if you've if your birthday's post June nineteenth. Um hmm. that said, this is the end of Gemini season actually. So it's just kind of yeah the the tail the very very tail end of the Gemini season we're actually entering um, Cancer season to be truth to be to be honest to, or to be technically correct so we've just passed your season really but again uh, these will be uploaded a bit earlier than the nineteenth of June so yeah I guess at the time of that you're possibly listening to this it will still be in Gemini season so your solar return you know when the it's kind of um. Your birthday basically is basically upon you um so hmm okay so it won't be your exact solar return of the you know the placement of 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 the sun when it when you were born but a, a general solar return let's say <laughs> all right the sun being in gemini okay um but that's neither here nor there sorry don't wanna you know i said i wasn't gonna talk too much about ast uh, astrology um, what else am I picking up? Ah, that's what I'm picking. I'm actually fading. It's funny because as I I noticed that I just suddenly caught myself about th for the last two minutes. I kind of felt myself speaking and just fading, and it was almost like an energetic um, message. Spirit was saying, "You may feel this way, yeah." And that's kind of almost like, you know, when you start something and you suddenly realize, "Wait a minute, do I really want to go down this road of of of?" What I'm about to say, do I really need to say it? Maybe not. Maybe I'll draw myself back. And they're saying it's okay to do that. You know, you may feel a bit, find yourself kind of being a bit staccato in how you express yourself in, in regards to verbal expression, mainly. Um, kind of starting and stopping and realizing, actually, I don't need to say that. Maybe I won't. And it's okay to stop yourself. Yeah. Sometimes we put this pressure, oh, no, I've started, so I must finish. No, sometimes holding back, <laughs> you know, realizing, wait a minute, let's not go down this road. <laughs> is going to help you because actually I think you've got in this process of the tower coming, you know, the tower moments that you might be having, like I mentioned earlier, this kind of release and collapse, if you like, of old structures, you may find it slightly hard to articulate your ideas or your whatever it is, maybe not ideas, just whatever it is you're trying to express verbally. All right. I'm, I'm focusing on the verbal communication. All right. Um, so yeah, don't worry if you kind of find yourself just fading fading out of of ideas you know in, in you might be mid conversations and you think oh actually i don't what am i saying <laughs> you know you're just kind of going on little tangents here and there it's okay there's a method to the madness you know sometimes you're you we are multi-dimensional beings and sometimes we we do things that we we try to over analyze and question why did i do that why there are reasons you know i'm not going to go into them right now but your heart knows your your heart your soul your spirit whatever you want to call it that powerful conscious being within knows exactly what's going on and there's a process that's taking place okay so sometimes when you try and um control your being overly control your being sometimes uh, too much it can um um block what's trying to happen because there's often underlying healing processes that are happening when we do things that maybe may feel slightly awkward or unfamiliar okay um, but obviously you need to discern as to, you know, whether what I'm saying completely resonates with you because everybody's circumstances and, and and way of expressing themselves are different, okay? You may have some very kind of poignant um, 
expressive tendencies that may not be appropriate. Okay, and you need to maybe you need to look at that. So I'm not talking about those. I'm just gen giving bringing through a general message of people who you know for people who are kind of going through processes of releasing, let's say, old patterns for now that um that are taking you through down roads that are not completely familiar you know metaphorical roads you know in regards to how you're expressing yourself yeah that's probably the best way to frame what i just said <laughs> you see it's happening with me too right now <gasps> i'm not a gemini though and i don't have much gemini in my chart if any um that said there's always some nuance of some sign in your chart it doesn't yeah it doesn't really matter too much right now um what else are we bringing through spirit for gemini sun signs oh that's it when i first oh no i'm actually sorry i've just i'm being drawn to the justice card to the center the spirit had drawn me back to the beginning they're saying remember all of this that i've spoken about is def is really really focusing on bringing you into harmony into more harmony into balance okay you are the twins the Gemini twins, yeah, and sometimes you can get a bit out of out of sync. So they're trying to kind of recalibrate your energy system, if you like, yeah, spirit, your heart, the universe, all working together, trying to recalibrate your energy system and give you everything that you need in your environment to support that process. Yes, yeah? so the spirit are really asking me to remind you of that because I have done a bit of a dance around the cards, but um, but now it's like really focusing on that justice card. It is very much just a symbolism of bringing you back into balance, Gemini's, okay? Um, yeah. What else do we have for Gemini's? Oh, relationships, they're saying some of you may feel a bit like you want to kind of close off from relationships. And they're saying that's not a bad thing. There's a time and a place, you know. Um, almost, I'm not seeing a complete like hermit mode energy, but I am, a hermit mode is like, you know, the hermit card in, in the tarot is when you kind of go inside your little cave, you know, it could be your bedroom, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a cave. And you just kind of take stock of your life and, you know, you grow, you know, you grow and you you relearn things and you come out wiser. You know, when you leave your cave as the hermit, you come out slightly wiser. But I'm not saying complete shutdown, but I am saying that you, uh, relationships now, some of you might be kind of contemplating getting into relationships. I'm talking about new relationships. And Gemini, uh, sorry, and Spirit are saying it's not the right time for you, Gemini sun signs. Yeah, that's not for all of you, of course. You need to, you know, if there's a relationship on the go and you feel it's that you're getting a full steam ahead message, then go for it. That's, uh, that's on you. That's up to you. This is not telling you not to do that. You really, really must discern and trust your own guidance. This is just a general read and it may not resonate with everybody. It may only resonate with one person. Yeah, please take note. That's such important information. It may only resonate with one person, right? Or it may resonate with a billion people. Who knows? Um, but that's why I say you must discern, okay? You really must discern. So, but what I'm picking up is... Um, simply that you are not really in the best place at this moment in time for relationships okay that's the general message that i'm picking up it's more of a kind of me time focus yeah the immediate me immediate you i'm referring to all right um yeah all right gemini's um anything else let me no they're saying wrap it up okay spirit are telling me that's enough for gemini sun signs um for this session so yeah um how do i okay that's what i wanted to say um yeah it, firstly i appreciate you you know coming stopping by at on the channel and feel free to subscribe um and to like the videos yep i'm doing all the youtubey stuff now <laughs> at the end of your read yeah so if you feel drawn to subscribe to this channel you know you can get you can click the bells and all those bells and whistles and stuff and get the notifications of when i upload and you know um yeah i'm actually just re 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 familiarizing myself with how youtube works um because this is a new channel that i've just set up again um i've had one in the past a few years ago but again i'm i'm still even then i was very i didn't i never really continued youtube as a as a huge thing but i, I go through phases but I'm, I'm i'm here again 
Um, does it mean I'm flaky? No. <laughs> does it mean my life is very um, erratic and interesting? Yes. <laughs> and sometimes confusing, but confusing in a in a in a way that um, understandably confusing. You know, is how I'd frame it. All right. But anyway, I won't go into my my um my stuff right now. I'll just wish you all the best, Gemini, on your coming anew, becoming anew and releasing the old. Okay, so peace, peace, peace. Take care of yourselves and all the best.